You can have some really different setups on your Notion homepage, especially when you start linking all of the databases together. So I'm going to show you three nice easy setups to get you started just using the basic blocks and manipulating what they look like. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. So this first homepage setup is fairly simple, we've got the inbox, the personal and the work. I've got those three as headers at the top and I've put a little bit of background colour in there just to make them different. I've then used the call out block as a bit of aesthetics but also reminding me what to put in those sections. To insert a call out block you can do it via the menu, you can do it through shortcuts and here what I'm doing is I'm using the slash command turn into call out. Then of course you can change the emoji to whatever you want. For the inbox what I've done is i put a little bit of a quote in there just to make sure that I'm actually doing the stuff that are in my inbox. I turned it into a quote block because if you put a space after speech marks it turns that block into a quote block. I now don't need the other quote marks. I've used bullet points here but you could use whatever you want and to put a bullet point in it's control shift 5. In my personal section I've got four different pages that are all pages in their own right and when you click on the page you can have whatever you want in there. Food, we've got some images of food in there because it's, it's always nice looking at food. There are loads of different ways to make pages and I explained in this video how to do that. In the work section I've used toggles to hide the list of pages just so I don't have loads and loads and loads of things on one side making it look a bit cluttered. To turn anything into a toggle you can use the shortcut Control shift 7 and as you can see the arrow is grey because there is nothing in there yet. So we're going to jump to the next home page. We've still got our inbox on the left, we've got a different style of heading and then we've got a numbers list down the side instead of bullet points. To make the headings look like this I've used a shortcut when you highlight all the words. You can push Control and E which turns it into this code looking text and then you can turn it into a header, one, two or three block, change the colour, same as you would with a normal text block. All these pages are just normal pages, what I've done is I've coloured in the background just to give some different separation. Of course you can pick whatever colour you want. In the chores page I've actually got a checklist of things you can do which you can create checkboxes for and I've linked the maintenance page to the chores page. So you can tick off the things when you're done and if there is something that you remember that you need to do for maintenance you can click on that link. That maintenance link is the exact same page as the maintenance page on the home page. Now we're going to go to the next home page. So this heading is underlined and if you look carefully when you're looking at text blocks you can't actually underline anything specifically. You can bold it, make it italics, you can put links on it. This header isn't underlined so what I'm going to do is highlight it, push the link button or you could just highlight it and push Control K. And because I don't actually want it to go anywhere, all I need to do is just put a letter in there and then enter the link. Now I've tabbed this page across just like I did with the first tasks, which was done simply by going to the beginning of the words and pushing the tab button. And if you want to move it back again, just hold the shift button when you push tab. Now I'm going to turn these two into pages using Control shift 9. but I don't want this one to stick out because it ruins the aesthetics of the page. So what I'm going to do is add a bold to it, Control B, add a link to it, Control K, so it's now bold and underlined just like pages. Then I'm going to add an emoji that I used as the icon for the pages just at the front of the text. Now I have a text block that looks exactly the same as the other page blocks. For this heading I've already got it underlined but I do have a message to the side as a reminder for myself that I want to turn into a bigger header. Even though you've got a link on something, you can still link headers. So using Control shift 2 puts it into a header. This is a fun little way to display different things using the code block. Because you've got words inside question marks, it highlights them green. This is just another way to look at different things. Maybe have your schedule in a code block so you can see it in different colors using question marks, exclamation marks, and all the different commands that you'd normally use in a formula. As you can see, if you add in different formulas that are recognised by the code, it will change the colour automatically. All this text has actually gone green because they're in between speech marks. And to create one of these blocks, all you need to do is push Control shift 8 In this sales section, I've made the title italics just to change it up a little bit, and I've actually added a background colour to the toggle, which is the grey around the outside, and then coloured in each individual page to give it that colour line across. Now for this section, I need to remind myself to add a page in, so what I'm going to do is leave myself a note, using Control shift m and that will leave a little icon at the side which you saw earlier. Don't forget to watch this video for more Notion tips and tricks. I'll see you there.